Hi, my name is Larry Nellis, and I'd like to talk to you this afternoon about TSIS Mini Vario and TSIS Vario disconnect switches. They're UL508 rated manual motor control switches. First thing we have to talk about before we can have any discussion about the Vario switches would be codes and standards. Here's a block diagram of uh, motor control circuit in the NEC. If you would look at the bottom where it says load brake switch, that is where a Vario switch would be positioned. That is a definition of a UL508 switch. It does not have the same spacing as a true disconnect switch. Probably one of the biggest con uh, confusions in the marketplace today, people misapplying the Vario switch as a disconnect switch in the circuit. So to reiterate, the UL508 switch can only be positioned between the overload relay and the motor. It's listed to UL508 standards. These standards dictate that. They do have horsepower ratings. They do have a smaller spacing. That is one of the main criteria why it is a UL508 switch. The UL98 switch, which would be positioned as the disconnect switch, is a much larger switch, can handle the uh, voltages that come in and any type of interrupting circuit that it may need to clear. Padlock provisioned in the off position for the handles on the Vario or Mini Vario switch. It must be applied per the NEC after the overload as we've already discussed. The Vario and Mini Vario are definitions of a load brake switch. Features of the Vario switches. We have a Vario switch which would be anywhere from a 12 amp to 175 amp uh, manual motor controller. They are a local motor control switch. And what that means is that the Vario switch can be positioned with, between the overload of a starter and the motor, very close to the motor itself. So we can turn the motor off without having to go back to the main control panel. That is the definition of a local motor controller. It's available as either an open or an enclosed switch. We can either have the switch affixed to the enclosure door, attached directly to the handle, or we could mount the switch on a DIN rail on the back panel of the enclosure, and there would then be a extension shaft between the handle on the door and the switch on the DIN rail. We also have additional accessories that can be mounted on the side of the Vario switches, either auxiliary contact switches, or we can add an additional pole uh, line pole to make it a four pole switch as opposed to the standard three pole switches that we have. They can be used in either an AC3 or a DC3 motor application and we'll have no problem doing that whatsoever. But again, it has to be used as a local controller. Meets the UL508 standards as the manual motor controller. Gaskets can be purchased. Uh, that would uh, go between the handle itself and the enclosure door. It can get you up to an IP65 rating, which is not exactly, but similar to a NEMA 4, 4X watertight type of application. We also have a low profile handle for these switches, so if you have a, an, a, a space limitation, you can uh, purchase these low profile handles and it would fit into a, a lesser depth than you would have to have for the standard uh, uh, handles that are shipped with these switches. They are suitable for um, <clears throat> unload marking, bra breaking of resistive or mixed resistive loads and inductive circuits. So we can do that either for motor loads or for resistive type of applications. Padlockable versions, we have handles that have uh, no ability to put a padlock on. We have the ability also to select a handle that could give you the ability to put three padlocks, padlocks on the handle for the lockout, tagout type of configurations. Configured products are available as an open switch where you could purchase the handle, the shafts separately if that were your choice. Uh, in this particular case, we're showing the Vario switch, which is a 20 amp switch. Here we have an enclosed Vario switch. It is a polyester enclosure. It is not rated with a UV uh, protection, so it can only be used indoors, but it does have an IP65 rating on it. And then here we have a true kit for with a mini Vario where you would have the handle, you have the extension shaft, and you have the mini Vario switch itself all in one particular uh, carton. Applications, 
Again, it is a UL508 switch. It can only be applied between the motor overload and the motor itself, but they can be used as a local device. And in any application where you have a UL508 requirement, the Vario switch would be a perfect product for that particular application. I'd like to thank you for joining us. If you have more uh, questions regarding any of these products, please go to the Schneider Electric website. There will also be an application on that website that will help you in selecting Vario and Mini Vario switches uh, for your applications. Thank you very much.